What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm actually going to be discussing the Sweat and Soap manga, basically my complete review about the manga. So Sweat and Soap is a manga written by Kintetsu Yamada. I'm apologizing ahead of time if I'm saying the name incorrectly, but pretty much Sweat and Soap is about a guy by the name of Kotaro who works at a company called Lilia Drop and his, well, you meet a girl by the name of Osako who also works at the Lilia Drop. Now they both work in very different departments and Kataro basically comes across Osako kind of happenstance I guess you can say because he really likes the scent of like what she smells like. So they ultimately start dating and basically the manga is just about them getting together and kind of the ups and downs of their relationship as well as the progression of their relationship from them starting to date to ultimately the last volume where they pretty much get married. So I actually really enjoyed this manga and going into it, I actually wasn't for sure what to expect. But I will say it is more on the adult side when it comes to manga. So it does show some adult scenes, not in like complete explicit detail, but definitely more than you would if you were like reading like a typical manga set in high school sort of love story. I also will say it did have more of the adult element as far as what a lot of adults deal with when it comes to starting a relationship when they're much older. So it, obviously since it's not set in high school, you don't have a lot of the, how can I put it? Like a lot of the love triangle stuff going on, you have more of the like mental aspects when it comes to you dating somebody when you're older and you're not in high school and you're no longer in school. So, so some of the things that they kind of go through within the relationship is things like Asako being a little bit insecure about how she is compared to some of the other girls that Kataro is around at work. Some of the ones that might be a little bit more like sexier, some of the ones that are a little bit more, um, how can I put it? Um, maybe not sexier because that is well, that is one of the words I want to use, but a little bit more confident than how she is. And kind of Kataro being able to show her that like, no, I really do love you. I actually really do want to be with you. It also has the aspect of them deciding to move in with each other and how that kind of process is like looking for a place together and then living together and then trying to learn how each other is. And it was interesting for me at the time when I was reading those parts of the manga because my husband and I at the time had just kind of started to live with each other. We weren't married yet. We were fiancés, but we were living with each other at the time and having to get used to everything each other's little idiosyncrasies that we didn't have when we were just dating and when I was living at my own place and he was living at his own place. But overall, I really did enjoy that part and me reading that. It also deals with aspects of some other things that go on in relationships like learning about someone else's past and little things that may have happened in their childhood that still affect them today and how you can kind of go about that. Also having to go through the tribulations of meeting each other's parents, both Asako meeting Kataro's parents and Kataro's parents meeting Asako's parents, as well as like her siblings as well. And that first time jitters of hoping that your spouse's parents like you, hoping the spouse's, you know, siblings like you. And if you're a girl and you have like an older or younger brother, and you're that person's spouse having to deal with maybe a little bit of the protectiveness that comes along with that. And it was overall, I really liked that aspect. Overall, reading this manga was a great experience, to be honest. It was great to read a manga that was told like in a more of an adult love story of kind of the ups and downs of relationship as an adult compared to the aspects of an up and down relationship when it comes to high school and some of the stupid decisions that we've all made as high schoolers when it came to us dating or liking somebody. This really deal with more of the adult circumstances that a lot of us go through when dating in our 20s to our 30s. When it comes to meeting somebody at work, deciding to date them, having to deal with having a workplace relationship with someone if your workplace allows that and not knowing whether or not to like say anything or afraid of the circumstances of you dating somebody at work, moving in with each other for the first time, meeting each other's parents, deciding to get married, and then going through the process and steps of having to plan a wedding and deciding what each of you kind of want out of that wedding, as well as some of the stress that comes on with planning a wedding, as well as the other little bits and pieces within the relationship when learning about the other one's past and kind of, if you're that person, divulging a part of yourself that you never thought you really had to share. For example, for Asaka, one of the things that she is very insecure about throughout 
throughout most of the you know manga is the fact that she sweats profusely it is something that she's always had to deal with and something that she actually got teased for about in school so for her that's a huge insecurity for her and when she actually happened to meet up with a old bully of hers she actually really held that in and remembered some of those issues that happened during her childhood and let it start to affect her relationship with uh, Kataro. And Kataro actually had to learn about that because she ultimately finally decided to tell him. But learning little things like that about your spouse. So overall, I greatly recommend this story. Really recommend this manga, actually. So definitely go to like your local bookstore and check it out. I actually did buy, I think, the first three volumes physical copies of them from Barnes and Nobles. But after that, I actually started reading the manga digitally and just buying it onto my iPad because I found it more feasible for myself because of well bookshelf space as well as the fact that i wanted to be able to read it on a bigger screen so definitely recommend doing that whichever one is more feasible for you whichever way you actually prefer to read your books as far as if i have any like little cons about reading this book uh i don't really have any cons about it to be completely honest with you there's no parts of this manga that i didn't enjoy would I say it got kind of slow at times? Sure, maybe because it's just a lot of the mundane stuff that a lot of us do as adults and kind of going around the whole like typical everyday work day, work week. It didn't have a lot of the dramatic stuff that more like high school romances have or even some adult romance books had. It didn't have where well, it did have a little bit of a potential where a love triangle could have happened, but it got stopped very, very quickly because they just weren't, both, neither characters were in the realm of wanting to cheat or in the realm of trying to show interest to another character outside of the love interest that they already had in the manga. So really didn't have to worry about that. So I would say maybe I would have wanted a little bit more drama, but to be honest with you, I more so myself connected with the aspects of her feeling insecure in some ways in her relationship because of the fact that this was such a serious relationship for her, as well as her dealing with the implications of like having to deal with things that happened during her childhood. So that I will say is probably like the thing that I connected with the most but overall I have no cons about this manga I have no aspects of it that I'm like oh no it's like don't read it I wish there were more of this more of that um yeah overall I really did enjoy it so if you've read Sweat and Soap comment below your thoughts about it I did hear inklings at one point not for sure if this is actually the case that there is supposed to be either a live action drama that is supposed to be made based off of this manga or an anime series not for sure but honestly i'd be okay with either one of them just as long as they don't add any like extra dramatic stuff because that's what i like about this manga is that it is so chill so cool to read and like really just gives you a great realistic stance of a healthy relationship that is not toxic and a relationship that's just going through all the different progressions within relationship like i said dating um you know going out for the first time deciding to be boyfriend and girlfriend deciding taking the next step and moving with each other taking that next step and being each other's parents taking the next step and getting engaged taking the next step and then getting married like that's what i enjoyed so much about it so if they do make any sort of a, a series for tv or anything like that i really hope that they don't add in a lot of dramatic aspects besides the ones that's already in the manga that are resolved fairly fairly quickly but yeah overall that's what i think about sweat and soap i honestly really did enjoy reading this series i'm actually starting a side character's love story i started reading that that's on kindle unlimited i plan to start reading that soon i'm also reading quite a few webtoons that i will also give my review about as well once i get caught up with them as well as finish another one so yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will leave links down below on my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and I also do have a TikTok as well. So feel free to check me out on there as well as if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and like, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon with a brand new video, hopefully next week, I hope. Anyways, like I always say, you guys stay positive, stay nerdy in today's day and age, stay healthy. And of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys. Bye. <laughs>